Uh, more than 65 species of palm trees in the U.S. are vulnerable to a wood-killing fungus out there, which actually could be devastating to South Florida. Yeah, local researchers have come up with a way to find the fungus before it's too late, but they need your help. For years now, Bram Dillon with U.S. Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences in Davie has been on the hunt for a silent killer a soil-borne disease attacking palm trees called Ganoderma buttrot. Infects the lower portion of the palm, and that's where it shows up initially, or, um, and so that portion, the lower portion of the palm, just above the roots, above the soil line, is called the butt of the tree. The infections degrades the structural integrity of the palm from the inside out. So that means um, uh, in the event of wind, or even without the wind, when it's too degraded or rotten, the palms can actually fall and um, be a, a liability uh, for pedestrians or property, which is by the sidewalks or wherever the palm is planted. Dylan says when the disease infects the tree, the lower branches will drop flat against the truck and a mushroom-like fungus will grow at the base of the tree. That fungus produces millions of spores that can spread by wind or water and through the ground to nearby palms. Dylan and his team have developed a diagnostic test to catch the disease and possibly save the tree before it's too late. So we can receive samples from uh, landscapers, homeowners. All you need is a basic drill to take samples from opposite sides of the tree near the base. Allow the shavings to fall into a plastic bag and then send them in to U.S. IFAS lab. The other part of our research uh, project here is, you know, to develop um, methods to either, uh, well, basically to kill the fungus, either in the soil or in the trunk. And to learn more about how to take part in the research and stop the spread of the disease, look for that story on local10.com.